area, and they didn't abuse the smoke and get into the site and plant. They still held and waited for the smoke to disappear before they peeked. Okay, they so Deagle rushed onto B here. Wow, really nice shot, shot by basic. basic rapes him, and there's some guns. Except there isn't, because Zeus is point-blank and kills Lopez. Ah, uh, this is disappointing if you win fact, because he didn't even really get a chance. Like, he got the first shots, but then he couldn't capitalize, because the rotations Zeus were that fast. Zeus was there so fast, yeah. Zeus was there in, like, a half a second. Just charging in. I think, uh, this next round will be pretty important. I think Tommy will probably call a force buy. Use the false, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, see, they're buying here. Probably gonna do a fast super strat. I think I don't know what I'm talking about, kid. Look at this. This is gonna get them around. Oh, we'll see about that. Actually, hold on. It depends on where C9 is. The thing is, he doesn't need to look to his right if Marklop's looking there. And bearing in mind, Starix has got the whole cross angle on. Here we go. He's just gonna hide, I think. And wow, he gets killed through the box. What did I say about that strat? I told you we'd get them around. Well, it hasn't actually got them wrong yet. It should. There's no such thing as should, mate. If they lose this round, it's their fault. Edwin has full health and he's, fl he's flanking around the kitty though, so he doesn't need, he need to show so Tharex can keep taking shots and draw them out. And he's in a really gallows. odd position. He's gonna die to He's actually to in Edward. a bad position to have a gallo. Oh, a but really he gets nice, the kill. Yeah, really nice skull bolts. And now Tharex just saves. Don't know where he bought those. Mine don't really go that straight, but yeah. Like that's what I was talking about. If they could have won that pistol and then used that strat as their first, they'd be winning 5-0 right now, which is what I was saying. That strat's not going to work again versus Navi, which is the unfortunate thing about it. It still might be worth running again, though, just so that then you could use that as a basis of a fake next round. Not as in you do it, but you just force them to be looking at that position when you then wrap on A. Yeah. Yeah, like you can that's that's a one way to approach it. Sometimes a round doesn't have to be a success if you're using it to like set up a future round. Okay, Starix is actually pushing aggressively up towards the storage area. It looks like he's gonna get shot onto someone. I I don't know if he hit him. No, no he didn't actually hit him. four spot here, so this is a big round for Winfac. They have Deagle's Fall Misses and... Senya is actually pushing through the sewer right now. So if Windpack goes slow, they're going to engage him. Edward has a Deagle. Senya's all the way at the end. If he breaks his vent, he's going to get killed by Nasu, though. But now he hears Nasu running, though, so he doesn't actually have to. See, if he, if he waits long enough here... In fact, if he just waits for a call, then runs, then he'd be in a really good spot to flank them. Like, if Starix just calls it now, the second he sees them, and then Senny runs up. Shigatis is actually in a... ...is stopping his flank, though. Shigatis didn't Except even that hear he's, it. Yeah, because I think he just moved far away, didn't he? I, I was respecting James. And shot in the back. The, I heard the break, but I guess, I don't know, the vent could be loud. This is a key round for Winfact to hold here. Yeah, if Azak can get this kill... Because Starix doesn't even have to go in, he can just hold off and then wait for someone to peek while the others draw them out. Ah, but he didn't get the shot. Oh, really nice shots by Nasty, that was huge. Starks just gonna look to save the op again. Those are really nice shots, like... This next round's gonna be saved, but obviously Starks will have an op. But this is really where Winfact gets back in the game. And the thing was, the timing of when they both chose to step out made Starix not even get a shot off on that second like little stanza there when his teammates were getting killed. Whereas if he's able to shoot freely while Winfact guys are having to shoot at other guys, then he probably kills maybe one of those guys and then it's suddenly it's like a doable round. But as you've seen, Starix is not going to give up that gun for no reason in like a 1v2. Yeah. And that's the only unfortunate thing about hopping on It's 11 map. to 8 so far. It's really unfortunate to op on this map on the two side just because it's so hard to rotate. Like, it's really good for shutting down that area. But when you move and then back, there's to that a, gun gone. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, when you're back in A, Stars can't really go for those 1v2s of the op. It's just too impossible.
It would actually be smart for one of the wind fact guys to just stay here while the others go and plant and just make sure that orb cannot be picked up. Yeah. That's a nice nice round by Nasu. The thing is, like I was saying with Nasu, the thing with him is he it's it, it's all about his confidence level and belief. Because in terms of actual skill, Nasu is actually really good. I mean, he's not necessarily really good in the traditional sense, but he's got like a really good all-around game, and his actual all-around skills are really, really good. Like, I've seen him play just versus bots and be like insane, like almost impossible aim. But then obviously when you're playing against bots, you're very, very confident and that you know that they're not really going to kill you back. But I mean, just the, his like mechanical skill is like really top level. Yeah, so Starwax is actually offing towards mid here, gets a pick, and then Zeus gets another one. Now Aslak needs to get this first pick. Yeah, if, if Aslak can pick him off here at mid. Nice pick he manages off the to get Markle off, but Starwax is moving up with his op to take him on in a duel. Misses oh, that's the first really unfortunate. Shot. He unscoped right before... Edward just hanging around the other storage area. Oh, really nice pick by Aslak. Ooh, oh, huge kill round. For him. Edward, if, if he keeps holding his flank, moment. oh, as Edward's like seen just... they're both kitty though. That's the thing. Yeah. So with the time that's left, they can just hold these positions, and if they want, just go in at once they start planting. And that, that's probably the key kill right there. Just look at the time that Zeus left. has the op. Edward's yeah. gonna peek, but he actually doesn't need to peek whatsoever here because he just heard the bomb picked up. Fifteen seconds left. If he goes in like two seconds, he can probably kill him while he plants. Oh, oh huge but he actually round. does. That's the same position we saw Starix in, if you remember, in the SK yeah. game, where he could have gone to plant, and instead he chose to he chose to gamble. But you also, as long as the player does show, I mean, you can obviously just win it like that. That was a huge round to win, actually. That one v one. Yeah. Because now Navi's gonna have to save this round. This 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 map's like th that's what I was saying before. Is this is the only, this is the map that like. They need to win on. They they have to beat Navi 2-0, in my opinion. Well, They're not going to win on it. To Inferno. be fair, Navi is at 13 rounds already, so... No, yeah. I'm, actually, Navi are at 11 rounds, rather. I misread the score there. So it's 11 to 10 for Navi right now. Yeah, I'm not saying that WinFact has won. I'm just saying, like, if if they can win this map, this is what they need to do. Like, they they can't bring it. They have to win in 2-0, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think they can. But they have to keep picking, like, raising the pace, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, it's going to be tied here because because a lot of these close rounds, they're not going to get every single one of them, most likely. Yeah, I think if he, I think the next gun round, Tommy might call that fast sewer strat again, and that they haven't run it for a while, so maybe that will catch them off guard. I mean, the other thing you can also do is if you keep running that sewer strat two or three times, but not in a row, just doing it like every couple of rounds, then even if it doesn't work. One of the things, the counters to that is obviously to put someone in the sewer like halfway down. So if you do that and then you hit A, or even better, then you hit B, then you're actually guaranteeing yourself like a, a small advantage that can make, turn into a bigger one as the round goes on. Yeah. And this looks like it's going to be fairly flawless. Yeah, they're looking a lot better right now than they did at the last BO3 vs Fnatic. Like that, they're all missing in just... I hear they actually look like they're playing like a solid team, in my opinion. They're playing better than I've ever seen them play right now. Bearing in mind the level of the competition they're playing against, obviously. Yeah. Looks like they're going the, for a straight two The rush. thing is, I mean, right now it seems to me like if Jigatus could just get a bunch of kills in, the, in like the next three or four rounds, that would like really boost their chances of actually getting a solid run going. Oh, they got some huge picks into the site. Jigatus is in a perfect spot. Has like close range, misses the shot. Zeus is just running in. I swear that- Jigatus is trying to cover the flank though. Markov's going over the bridge though instead. Okay, I'll, I'll just want to tr drop a little bomb like you would say. Because I think Do Zeus it. is a really good strat caller, but I think he's a moron in-game. I, I think he's one of the dumbest players I've ever watched play CS. Whenever he sees someone, he just charges at them. He just runs. He never stops. Did you see what he just did there? He got shot, and he just ran through the spray and just charged around the corner and got killed. Like, I don't understand some of the stuff he does.
I, I mean, from what I've heard of how other people see him, even on T-side, he seems like one of those guys who's smart in spite of himself. <laughs> you mean like the dumbness he gets him kills? Well, it's like his smarts even out like his other problems, you know, which tends to be the way in Counter-Strike. Whatever your major strength is, unless you're like an all-time great player, you probably have a deficiency that counters it to some degree and evens the game up a bit. Okay, so Navi pushing up into the first storage area, they spot one guy, they're gonna nade him. That's like it's taken out by Zeus in kind of a odd position. And now they've got Winfact in really bad spots, like they've pushed them all the way back. Not really bad, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but they have got them like on the back foot here. With this Moscow 5 style push up. Yeah, uh, Starks is actually... Yeah, this is getting bad now. Yeah, this should be and around for... Basic uh... does manage to get the kill. Zeus looked like he was going to get it at first. Markov is playing really risky in that mid area. They're still playing two at B, so... Oh, this is going to be a pretty hard take. They have to get a really clean kill. Oh, Edward really missing. But they don't know Starks is in the site. Gets the first one absolutely clean. And he can just hold if he wants. Oh, that's Gets the a second one as well. Starks. Now Gigatus has to go bananas, because there's only 19 seconds left. He has to go quick. Oh, huge kill. Oh, but Senya can literally kill him while he plants. Oh, that would have been a huge round. That was round huge. Right it, it, the, the great thing about what Gigatus did there is he took a bunch of guns, so this round for Winfac... If it wins them, if they win this round, it's just money. It, they just totally destroy Navi's money. I know I say that a lot, but I just like to make people aware of how important the money situation can be in Counter Strike, at, like how you get free rounds. Okay, so attack coming. I actually did like the way Senya played that round there, though, because a lot of other players, when they heard their teammate start to engage him, would have just rushed in. And yeah, you might have killed him from behind, but you also increase the chance that he does some bullshit and just happens to flick onto you. Yeah, Senya going big again. But they can get the bomb down. Now, uh, Winfact so are set up in pretty good spots right now. 3v3 here. But as usual, Nabi's just going to hold and then, like, one guy peeks while the other one tries to shoot the guy who he, he who comes out. And they have the flashes if they go in now. Edward's going right in, but he gets killed from behind by Nasu. One's coming up, Kitty. Nasu heard him. Lopez takes him out. And Starrix just loves to save every time. So this is the problem. I mean, he's actually doing it right because he is playing this role where as they push in, he sort of just waits and tries to be the guy who kills. Yeah. I mean, he's saved the op, so... But they, well, they know where he is, that's the thing. I mean, this is one of those maps where they can potentially get her... Like, he can, he can actually win a round with an op by himself on this map. Okay, so it's actually... Um, 12, 13 to 12 for uh, Winfact now. So oh, the we first are going to have to save this round. First lead of the game for Winfact. Oh, it's not the first lead of the game, didn't they win the pistol or something? No, they lost. Oh, my hair like that. Weren't they lost like 3 to 2 at some point now? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was 3 to 2. Okay, so anyway, they're saying. in the lead now, is what I meant to say. Yeah. Starks picking down long, gets taken up by Lurpus. Looks like they're going to move towards this two. Now Edward has the all. Gets one, gets taken out by Lurpus. Zeus is actually running into bees. They'd be better the off corner. just trying to gay uh, Aslak now, actually. Which they almost did. And there we go. There's a gun, and they've killed their AWPA. Yeah. It's a nice um, kill by Markloff. But as when fact is right now, they're not. Too, they got a lot of money for the rest of this half. I don't think Navi can really. Make and they have save. 14 rounds. Yeah. I mean, at this point, now Winfact is finally actually in the driving seat to win this game. Yeah. But I still don't think it's like ridiculous. Like I'd probably say they're 60 40 to win right now. Navi's doing their mid push again. I mean, With as, some long as, as long as Lurpus doesn't get crunched here in the two and he gets one kill minimum, he's going to be fine. He's running away. Gigatus is going to come out of sewer. Zeus is all the way going through to spawn behind it, the other storage area. Azlax moving up Kitty pretty quickly by himself. Zeus actually pushed all the way through too by himself. That's what I'm talking about.